Nvidia must just be way better than AMD because nobody's buying them. But is that actually true? Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Do you look like you just ran through a thorn bush after trying to shave? Well, Manscaped has you covered. Manscaped is trusted by more than 8 million men worldwide for their trimmers, liquid formulas, and premium boxers. And with their brand new Lawnmower 4.0, you'll never have one of those shaving experiences again. Their fourth gen electric trimmer features cutting edge ceramic blade designed to reduce grooming accidents and has a 4000K LED spotlight for when you need a more precise shave. Plus, the trimmer is waterproof, cordless, and even has a battery indicator. But if that isn't enough for you, the Performance Package 4.0 comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0, which uses a powerful 7,000 RPM motor with up to 45 minutes of runtime. But wait, there's more! The Performance Package also includes their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray, plus they're including two free gifts, the Anti-Chafing Boxers and Shed Travel Bag. So if you want to turn from Chewbacca into Giga Chad and you want to support the channel, go to Manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code GRAPHICS at checkout. So here we are and yet another generation goes by as Nvidia is likely to vastly outsell AMD. And honestly guys, I'm one of the few people who has actually chosen to swap from Nvidia to an AMD card in my rig right now. In fact, I'm using the 7900 XTX Aqua with a huge overclock on it. And overall, I've been actually very, very satisfied with AMD. And in fact, I've heard very similar things from a lot of people. And I do hear people talk about how much better value AMD cards are today versus their Nvidia counterparts, especially when you take a look at stuff like their last generation RX 6000 series cards. There's some really great prices to be had there. So why is it that nobody's buying AMD? I mean, are they just that bad? It kind of seems that way when you talk to a lot of people who have never tried AMD. So today I wanted to make a video and talk about if AMD is such great value, why is nobody buying them? Well, let's get into it. First off, I think the big reason as to why people avoid AMD today is because of their driver history. Now their drivers today on the RX 7000 series, at least in my experience, have been pretty good overall. In fact, I've had a better time on AMD with less issues than I've had on Nvidia. Now, of course, depending on what you do, that might be the reverse for you. But in the past, that's not always been the case, even for me. Taking a look specifically at the RX 5000 series, that was plagued with a ton of issues if people online are to be believed. In fact, there were so many people reporting tons of display issues at the time that a lot of people were very afraid to use an AMD graphics card as they thought they were going to run into a ton of issues. And I think it's important that we don't discount people's experiences if they do really have that bad of an experience. And when they have a bad experience once, they're not going to want to try it again. So that's a huge problem that AMD has to overcome, where past drivers might have been pretty bad. And in fact, even today with the RX 7000 series, I had my issues at launch. And that's just one reason as to why people don't want to buy AMD today. Another reason is... AMD actually has pretty bad pricing at launch, at least recently, on their graphics cards. I mean, the 7900 XTX wasn't too bad at 999, but realistically, it was pushing it just a bit. And then taking a look at the 7900 XT, yeah, that was a terrible price at launch. I mean, around $900 for a 7900 XT that's significantly slower than the XTX. I just don't get what AMD was thinking. And the really bizarre part about this is that they always end up just cutting the prices down the line anyway. So they release cards at a bad price, they get bad press, and then they cut the price later on. Well, you only get one chance at a first impression. And when you screw up that first impression, people aren't gonna wanna come back. And AMD, if there's anybody who's watching this video that works there, you guys have got to work on that because that is a big problem for the Radeon brand. But that's not all. Another reason as to why people don't buy AMD is that they kind of just have some kind of bad marketing. Now, I'm not 100% in on this, but I do hear a lot of people say, AMD or Radeon has bad marketing, and I kind of get why. Now, some of it's not really their fault because if they're behind on certain stuff and they have to kind of flip it in a way that sounds good, it's going to be kind of a hard job. But at the same time, they also don't do stuff like work with creators. Now, this isn't just me complaining and wanting free stuff or something like that. If they don't want to work with me at all, I'm not going to be butthurt, and that is totally fine. You know, I will go out and buy my own products, but I think in general, I just don't see them doing cool stuff with creators like I do see with NVIDIA, and that can cause a bit of a problem when it comes to marketing. Now, again, I have to purchase basically everything myself, so this doesn't affect me, but I could definitely see how some reviewers out there, if they're on a budget, if they're not getting something from AMD, maybe they're not going to be as inclined to go out and test it. That's just a sad reality 
of the reviewer space. So I do think it is within AMD's best interest to try and get their hardware into the hands of creators more often so that more people who watch those creators can go ahead and see what AMD is all about and make their decision whether or not they do want to try it or stick with Nvidia, which is totally fine as well. But then the final reason as to why I believe people like to avoid AMD or are very scared of using them with their Radeon graphics is, well, AMD always loses. It's hard to say this, guys, but yeah, AMD, when's the last time they actually beat Nvidia? And I don't mean like in terms of price to performance, I mean in terms of raw performance. When's the last time AMD has really actually won? I'll wait. Go ahead. Yeah, it hasn't happened in a really long time. And I think this is a really big problem for AMD. Now, I get that for the vast majority of people, you are not going to be going out and buying something like an RTX 4090 or even an XTX is going to be very, very expensive to be putting inside of a typical PC. It's just not worth it for the vast majority of people. But the problem is, even if hardly anybody buys them, it's what everybody talks about. I mean, think about cars. I mean, do people really talk about like a 2004 Prius or are they talking about some sort of Lamborghini or Bugatti or some other exotic car that they're never gonna buy? That's just how it works. That's what people talk about and it raises awareness to the brand and this can trickle down and cause more people to buy their more affordable products if they see that they have some sort of crazy flagship product. Well, AMD's been honestly kind of failing at that recently. Even when you look at the XTX, sure, I was able to overclock the bejesus out of mine. And in terms of the 1% and 0.1% lows, it's very, very close to a stock RTX 4090. But out of the box, a 4090 is significantly faster than a 7900 XTX. This should not have happened. AMD should have had a card out that could compete with the RTX 4090. And honestly, they need to beat Nvidia if they wanna get that brand recognition in the enthusiast space. I mean, think about how impressive it would be if AMD actually beat Nvidia. And I mean, beat them at any cost, any power cost, any size cost, any price. I honestly think AMD just needs to do it no matter what. If they did that, I do think a lot more people would be inclined to give AMD a shot and would see them as more of a premium brand. So there's probably some more reasons as well, such as CUDA and other software related problems that could come with AMD, depending on what specific stuff you do. Now for me personally, I don't have any software issues with the 7900 XTX at all. And I use it not only for gaming, but also for work. So I'm not seeing those problems. But again, there could be specific scenarios where maybe Nvidia has better software compatibility as well. Even though I do believe that AMD does bring great price to performance with their Radeon cards, at least after launch, price cuts. <laughs> uh, it's just something that people don't consider often because of those problems Radeon is seeing as a brand. Honestly, I think a lot of these are very easy to fix. The only one that's not going to be easy to fix, well, two, is going to be obviously keeping up with software is always going to be a difficult thing. It's difficult for NVIDIA as well. They're not perfect. They have their issues as well. But the really difficult one is going to be beating NVIDIA. Can AMD actually do that? I think they could, but it's not going to be easy. And they're going to have to play their cards close to their chest and not let anything slip. Because essentially, the only way I see them doing it is kind of fooling NVIDIA into believing that they're going to lose again and then suddenly winning. If AMD lets all the leaks slide under the door that all of a sudden they're building some crazy GPU, NVIDIA will also build a crazy GPU at any cost because NVIDIA is the type of company that wants to win no matter what. So that's the only way I see them actually pulling it off and that's not going to be easy to do. But again, I think it's something they're going to have to do if they really want more people to try Radeon. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the AMD can actually win and why do you actually use or not use a Radeon card. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Also, if you do enjoy this content, you wanna support me and you wanna get access to some behind the scenes content, please do go check out my Patreon linked in the description below to get access to the Discord. I do highly appreciate it. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.